I mean, I first got to uh, contact with this uh, probably as a result of um, my father being in the Merchant Navy and um, uh, if he couldn't get home on leave. Uh, I was only about I don't know, then, but my mother would have to lug lo uh, me all the way to uh, Liverpool or uh, London docks or wherever his ship was. So that's how I first came to be travelling on, 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 on the train here from the age of about four or five years old. And of course, uh, father had to, had to use, when he could get off, to get down the gangway, uh, he'd managed to get a couple of days and he'd come into, uh, he'd come in on that side, stay a couple of days and then of course he had to go back again and rejoin his ship. So that's why I came to have a very early contact with the railway and of course it, it, it lasted then um, right through the uh, time when I was in the army when it was very valuable to be able to get home from, well, being a Devonian, my luck was I never got stationed nearer than uh, 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 older shot in Hampshire. That's the nearest I ever got stationed to this part of the country. I mean, the place was full up during war with people from from uh, Geordies and Brummies and all that sort of thing. But uh, I never, I never managed to get as near this. Well, and obviously the uh, I, I had an affection for railways. The sounds and smells. Well, the sounds go for themselves. I mean, the sound of a um, a locomotive. Um, uh, issuing steam or, or um, the uh, exhaust noise that comes to a railway engine. Um, I remember that and I liked it. Um, also, um, the smell. You've got a very, with a, with a steam engine and also to a certain extent with the roll it with the carriages, you've got a sort of a, um, a slightly oily, um, warmish smell. Uh, I can't describe it any clear. You, you either knew it, you either knew it or you didn't know it. And of course the noise, uh, the noise on the, on the uh, when the train was going along, it was going along, which you can see by looking out of here with the track. Um, they usually, the lines are usually in about 40, 50 length sections. Uh, they've expanded it now to 60 and 70. But where, they, where the two join, they, they don't actually butt right onto each other. They're, they're a couple of a fraction of, um, of an inch away to allow for expansion and contraction, and that royal rail joint produces a clickety click as the as the uh, as a bo as a carriage goes over it, it with its with its two sets of bogey wheels, you get a, a, a click click, and, and then a couple of a half a second later, when the next sort of bogies goes over, you get another click click. So that's that's the sounds I remember. You don't get them so much nowadays because they. They're, they're, most of the railways now are, are very long welded ones. They've got over the problem apparently of uh, expansion and contraction, and the um, um, uh, so nowadays you don't get uh, you get long sections where you don't get that clickety click business.